today's topic is about uh, the vehicle that we use to pull a 42 foot bighorn traveler this way. There's our bighorn, fully loaded. Supposed to be at max at uh, 16,000 pounds. What we use our vehicle to pull with is a 1997 F-350 one-ton dual. As you can see, um, it's it's a little older vehicle. I'm walking around here. You can see it's in excellent condition. I looked around at some newer uh, 2018 and 19. The four door, eight foot full box, uh, dually. And uh, I found some good ones I like. But for what I could get out of mine, they didn't want to give me what I wanted. It's a pretty good vehicle. Like I said before, it's a 7.3 XLT Pirate Coke Diesel. Got the West Coast mirrors on it. It's got a full Cattle guard on the front end. Pretty good condition. I've had it about three years. I'm the third owner. All that's been done with it is pulled uh, fifth wheels with it. And it's an Iowa vehicle, which is people that are aware of what Iowa winters are like. They usually rust all out. This one here has been, been kept off the roads in the wintertime. We uh, go to Florida. This be our, be our second year. We'll be leaving here in about a couple weeks. We've got some more to work on, on our big horn to be done. Once it gets done, we'll go ahead to Florida. Probably be here through Thanksgiving. So let's take a look inside. And I'll we'll shut this, this noisy beast off. As you can see, it's got two uh, fuel tanks, one here, one on the back, 18 gallons each. You get about anywhere from 9 to 11 miles a gallon. I was saying earlier, it's got a 125,000 miles, 461. Nothing fancy in here. Except for the cassette player, that's pretty top notch. We do have a, a rear camera that's on the back of the fifth wheel. And uh, that comes in handy. Backing up or just driving down the highway. The inside's in excellent condition for a 97. XLT. So let's take a look up underneath the hood. Okay, we get inside here. As you can see, like I said before, it's a 7.3 Power Stroke turbo diesel. We've had a few issues with it. Those of you who have uh, uh, follow us on Instagram. We're full-time rovers on Instagram. And uh, we've had issues. We've had to... We put all new injectors in this last December. All eight fuel injectors. When I was in Utah in about August, we had to put a new radiator reservoir 
got a small hole in here but uh, got that fixed and we've had to put brakes on all the way around it front and back but uh, every time something those issues like that it's been somewhere interesting like in the keys we had to put a new diesel fuel bowl it had a little leak in the bottom down there which doesn't usually happen but it was in the keys so we end up spending an extra week at uh, Big Pine Key all they got done yeah so every time we've had to have something done it's been at a pretty nice spot got the West Coast mirrors on it Beautiful sunset tonight, as you can see off the back of our windows. Like I was saying, it's in great shape for an Iowa vehicle. A couple bicycles back here, a couple mountain bikes in the back here, keep them covered up. Here's the back end. We usually have our our cat sit in the back here. They have a, a pet carrier on this seat. The litter box over there on the other side. They really like going down the road with us. They'll uh, get up on in front of uh, the council. They sit with us. And if you jump out to get a uh, fuel or whatever, they think they want to drive. Jump in the driver's seat, and we use a uh, wreath, twenty thousand pound hitch. We got our, we have a generator in back, portable. It's a Champion thirty five hundred inverter. Runs on gas, and also propane. Our tank here, so when we get somewhere, if we're boondocking or somewhere that a state park. Federal Park that doesn't have full hookups comes in handy up underneath here we've got the uh, the double airbags it isn't four-wheel drive as you can see but I run about about 75 pounds of, in, of air in the airbags it's right here in the back end here Right there, as you can see, that's where I fill up the air. But I know there's some people out there that are interested in this 7.3. Everywhere I go, uh, every campground I've been stopped at, a uh, fuel stations, <clears throat> the people will come over old and young, and they'll want to talk to me about my old pickup. The beast so it looks like we're gonna be driving this for a while it runs great when we came home from the mountains from California this last summer it had to work hard got up over the mountains in Colorado and Utah been down to Florida <coughs> drove it all over down there getting ready to leave here in a couple weeks but like I said it it, it uh, pulls this 42 foot bighorn traveler I'm gonna get it weighed here real soon before I leave Iowa so if I need to take off some stuff we, on the back we carry a couple road bikes on the back here they don't add a lot of weight. They're carbon, but we keep them covered up and protected. But I hope you enjoyed this this video of my uh, my truck, our truck, I should say, mine and Jan. She's the beauty. We've had her for 
oh, about two and a half years. We've been real happy with it. Get, like I said earlier, I get between nine and 11 when I'm pulling fifth wheel, but if I'm not pulling a fifth wheel, I've got up to as high as 17, but it's usually about 15. So it's good. It's a good a vehicle. We'll be keeping her for a while. She's treated us very well. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed seeing our 1997 classic F350 Dually 7.3 Power Stroke. Have a wonderful night.